friends! Welcome back to Storytime. Let's get started with our welcome song. Point to yourself. Here we go. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna nod our head. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna nod our head. We're gonna wiggle our fingers. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna nod our head. We're gonna wiggle our fingers. We're gonna read some books. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. In the comments, could you let me know how many of you are watching and make sure to say hello. Let's stretch and do our yoga. Here we go, stretch up high, tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. Here we go again, tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. Last time, tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, and small as a mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. So today I have a special story time for you. Next week we'll continue with the letter V, but today is a special day. It is Earth Day. Earth Day is the planet that we live on. And I'll show you where we live. We live right here in America. And on Earth Day, we talk about how important it is to take care of the Earth and all the things that we can do to help keep our Earth a nice place. So we're going to do some activities today and some songs all about Earth and how we can enjoy our Earth and take care of it. Our first song is kind of like the song Bingo, but we're going to use the word Earth, E-A-R-T-H, okay? And it goes like this. There is a planet we call home and Earth is its name, O E A R T H E A R T H E A R T H and Earth is its name, O. And let's do it with a clap for the E this time, ready? There is a planet we call home and Earth is its name, O. A R T H A R T H A R T H and Earth is its name, O. This time two claps, okay? There is a planet we call home and Earth is its name, O. R-T-H, 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 and Earth is its name-o. All right, three claps this time. Here we go. There is a planet we call home and Earth is its name-o. T-H, 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 and Earth is its name-o. Now we're going to do four claps and we just say the letter H at the end. Ready? There is a planet we call home and Earth is its name O. H. H. H and Earth is its name O. All right for our last verse all claps. Five claps. Here we go. Ready? 
There is a planet we call home, and Earth is its name, oh. And Earth is its name, oh. Well done. I have the perfect book for our story time today. It's called The Earth Book, and it's by Todd Parr. I take care of the earth because I know I can do little things every day to make a big difference. I use both sides of the paper and bring my own bags to the market because I love the trees and I want the owls to have a place to live. Do you see that cute owl family in there? I turn off the faucet while I brush my teeth and I use less water for my baths because I love the fish and I want the oceans to stay blue. There they are at the beach. Have you ever been to the beach? Have you seen the ocean? I take the school bus and ride my bike. There's a three-person bike. I've never seen one of those. Because I love the stars and I want the air to be clear so I can see them sparkle. I try to eat every bite on my plate and save my leftovers because I love watching things grow and I want there to be enough food for everyone. Looks like they're planting a garden. I remember to turn off the lights and shut the refrigerator to save energy because I love the polar bears and I want the snowmen to stay cool. I throw garbage in the trash can and recycle glass, aluminum, paper, and plastic because I love to walk barefoot in the grass. And I don't want to move to Mars. We want to stay on Earth, don't we? Most of all, I help take care of the Earth because I want us all to be happy and healthy. So the people and the animals and the trees and the plants and the water, we want to take care of our earth. Here are 10 ways you can help the earth. Turn off the lights, recycle, save my leftovers, be nice to worms, Share a book, plant a tree, use both sides of the paper, save water, clean up trash, and put my underwear in the freezer when it's hot. Do you think that will help the earth? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> there are a lot of ways that we can help the earth, aren't there? I like that story. It helped me find out a lot about how I can help the earth. So my question for you today is, how are you going to help the earth? Are you going to plant some seeds or some trees? Are you going to try not to use as much water? I think I am going to help the earth by turning off the lights when I leave the room and to save electricity. What are you going to do? Let me know in the comments. Our first craft today is something that you can reuse. So I'm going to reuse a graham cracker box and I'm gonna show you what you can make with it. 
So here I have the front part of my graham cracker box. You can use whatever box you have on hand. If you have some empty cereal boxes, you could use those. And we're going to make a puzzle. So you're gonna take your box and you're going to cut whatever shapes you want. So mine, I'm just going to do a bunch of straight lines like this. Maybe I'll make this one a little tricky and go that way. You could do them um, curved lines, however you wanna do it, however many pieces you wanna make. So you can cut them all up like that, and then you can try to put your puzzle together. So let's see if I can do it, okay? I'm gonna flip them all over and see what I have. Our book today reminded us of how important it is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Those are all things that we can do to help our earth. So let's sing it in our next song. We're going to roll our fingers like this. It goes like this. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's very easy to do. It's simple to remember. Recycle what you use. Separate paper and plastic, separate glass and tin. Put them in their places in the recycling bin. All right, let's try it again, shall we? Roll your fingers. Reduce, reuse, recycle, it's very easy to do. It's simple to remember, recycle what you use. Separate paper and plastic, separate glass and tin. Put them in their places in the recycling bin. Nice job. Our last craft today is an earth made from a coffee filter. All you need are markers, a spray bottle, and a coffee filter. I'm gonna show you how I did it. For our earth, we're gonna start with our coffee filter. And since earth is made up of land and water, I have blue and green. Remember the earth is made up of mostly water, so I'm gonna use blue the most. First, I'm gonna start with my green marker and I'm going to color in wherever I want. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to color in all over to put some patches of land. Just like that. Use a bunch of color down there. Let's put some over here. So you want some patches of green like that and then I'm going to fill in the rest with the blue. And it's okay if they touch or run into each other. You'll see what happens when we add the water. So we color this all in like that. And then when we do the next part, you want to use a cookie sheet underneath so you don't get color all over your table. So you color it in just like that. Like that. And now I'm going to put my cookie sheet underneath. And then we're going to just take our spray bottle filled with water and we are going to spray all over it. And you'll see the colors start to bleed together like that. Doesn't that look cool? And then you can pick it up and then you can put it back down again to get the colors to blend in a little bit more. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all dry. Well, I had so much fun today at our Earth Day story time. I hope you did too. Before we go, I want you to remember a few things. So repeat after me. Ready? 
I am great. I am smart. I am strong. I am loved. Today's going to be a great day. Have a great day. I'll see you next week, everyone. Bye.